Sooner Scoop HD. Josh McQuiston of SoonerScoop.com here with Oklahoma offensive line signee Joshua Bates. Uh, Josh, you know, going through the All-American Bowl here. I know you had some uh, difficulties with travel, but, you know, what's it been like uh, just kind of settling in and getting into practices and all that uh, to get going this week? It's about... It's been a great experience for me, honestly. I, I'm not used to playing. I was telling some of the guys this, like, <clears throat> I'm not used to playing where everyone's good. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you know, you run into Colorado, some kids that are good. Not everyone's at an elite level, but here in this game and practice in this game, everyone's elite. Everyone's good, and it's a great experience. I mean, you, you, you move faster, you think quicker, and everything, you know, kind of clicks for you um, at the right speed. You know, we're we're, we're going to play. That's where you have to be, you know, operating at. So, <clears throat> great experience. Uh, yesterday, it took me a day to adjust, um, you know, to the speed sure, of everyone. Sure. And so, today, did a lot better in the first practice today. Got a little banged up on the foot. Had an injury reoccur from last season. So, it is what it is. So, I'm ready to rock and roll, though. So, okay. so you're telling me there's not a lot of guys like Caden Proctor walking around in, uh, in Colorado, man? No, not even That's close. A He's a monster. <laughs> yeah. How much do you feel like that helps you going forward, kind of having this experience where you do kind of get, again, I mean, you know, obviously college level, it's going to be guys who are even bigger, even faster, even stronger, everything, but it's like a, almost like a sample of, of what life's going to be like in a couple of years. No doubt. It's like, it's really just getting you ready for what you're going to see the next, you know, five, four, three years of mm -hmm. your life playing football. I mean, there is no more taking off plays, you know, um, and, you know, you don't get a you don't get a free pass because someone's not as good. Everyone you're gonna play is gonna be elite. So it kind of gives you like it's like the introduction, you know, preseason, you know, or pregame to like what's what's bound to happen. So it's very exciting. It's been a great experience. And, yeah. So so much has been made, and you you've heard it a million times. Oh, you were the first commitment, and all those things, you know. But what? Was it almost surreal to get to the finish line on signing day? Like all that had changed, all that you've kind of been through as a commitment. Um, what what was that like, or was it just that that's always been part of the plan and it was kind of uh, formulaic? Yeah, you know, it's definitely like, you know, it's not a shock, but it's it's actually you know it's pretty like refreshing. Mm -hmm. I'd say. I mean, I'm just like I wasn't when I when I committed. I wanted to go to OU and like. I went to like six schools, you know, competed, got camps, got offered. Those are the six schools I wanted to go to. Sure. And, you know, after looking at it, OU is the spot for me. And, you know, it's been, it's been like just super long and like, because I've been committed since like my sophomore year or end of my sophomore year. And so it's just like, it's been a long process and, you know, all the recruiting trips and all that stuff's done and I'm signed now and I'm ready to go. And it's really, yeah, it's relief, kind of refreshment, you know, just being like, all right, I'm a part of the team. I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be at, so after this game, I'm, I'm ready to rock. So yeah. Now, I know it's it's obligatory to a guy from Colorado. I have to also ask the Deion Sanders question. Did did Colorado reach out at any point? I mean, did they did they try to get in contact with you? They did, and you know, I told them. They texted me a couple times. I told them straight up. I was like, don't waste your time, man. I'm, I'm locked in with OU and always have been. You know, it's my dad's alma mater, but <clears throat> you know, it's way late. You know, they should. If they wanted to do anything, it would have been a year and a half ago. Yeah. So, um, as of now, man, no, it's, they did contact me, but no interest. Okay. I just want to play at Oklahoma. So, so now, what, what do the next few weeks look like, man? I mean, you're you're about to be in the real show. You know, what what's uh, what are you? Um, I guess what are some things you got to get done before uh, before you make a change of uh, locale? Yeah, you know, I think we'll start in here, and we, we're gonna whoop up on the East here on Saturday. <laughs> score a lot of points, play some nasty defense. I'll pass that on to Macari. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> and then, you know, um, I think going going forward, um, you know, into next week, I think my mindset coming in is just to learn everything, man. Just learn, you know, the guys in front of me that have done it, you know, Andrew Rame mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I was talking to, you know, Robert Conjol and everything and, sure. you know, they, the stuff that they tell me, just, you know, come in and learn, man. Like, I think I, you know, I think I'm good enough to, um, you know, be able to play, you know, not as a, maybe not as a freshman, but anywhere I can help. Sure. And, um, it's really just the learning, learning experience coming in, and um, that's my mindset. You know, Schmidty's gonna kick my ass, and that's gonna happen. Everyone else on the staff's gonna kick my ass, but really coming in, learning everything I can, 
trying to perform at my best. That's that's the goal. So now, wh- I mean, what is what Bill kind of told you as far as you know? Obviously, Andrew had the off-season surgery, you know that kind of thing. Are you? It, it almost feels like an advent, you know. Not obviously that that's never a good thing, but gives you maybe a chance to get a few more reps just as they try to rest him and kind of you know almost a pitch count for him. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't told me anything specific. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you know, he he has had a couple bit injuries later on in the season. Sure, really, sure. So. You know, my job is to come in and, um, you know, as of right now, I, I'm, I'm not there ready to play yet. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not where I need to be. And um, I think, you know, with off-season conditioning and all that stuff, weights, um, technique work, I will be there at some point. Um, but, you know, if I can back up and learn under Andrew, you know, take my reps when I need them here and there, uh, I think that'll be good, you know, for year one. Obviously, the goal is to start. Yeah, of course. You know, but um, thinking realistically, you know, it's like as of right now, I'm not ready. You know, I'm not Caden Proctor. You know, I'm I'm a you know smaller guy. Still got some pounds to gain. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I still got to get a little bit quicker. Um, but you know, as of now, you know, I'm I'm ready and I'm as ready as I can be and just ready to learn and you know take my reps here and there. You know, learn from Andrew more than you know. Sure. So yeah. So. Well, perfect. Well, again, this has been Joshua Christian of SoonerScoop.com here with Joshua Bates. Sooner Scoop HD.